I'm uh, Chi Van Dang, uh, Editor-in-Chief of the uh, journal Cancer Research. Cancer research has always been a place for basic cancer research and then advancing it towards uh, tr the translational spectrum, clearly. So we like this to still be the home for very comprehensive, uh, well-defended studies in basic cancer research. But the sections that are um, in the journal right now welcomes everything from basic to translational research, and even in some instances when it fits specific human-related studies that relates back to some of the basic cancer biology, and then even taking that concept way into the population as well. So I think this is a home for a spectrum of those um, papers. And then if you look at the future of where we're going, uh, we're looking again, embracing the complexity of cancer. So I really think that Cancer Research as a Journal should be a home to create new uh, domains that we should think about. For example, convergence. So we created a section now called Convergence to Technologies to welcome papers to expand out the whole concept of bringing di different disciplines to really study cancer. Currently, I think what we're, we're trying to do for the future is um, having some areas where it's not being served by the other journals. For example, we're looking at resource reports, and this is a big belief of mine that there are individuals out there creating significant amount of big data that has been crunched in such a way that the community can use it, so you can query it. But there aren't good places to really publish this. Um, so we want this to be a repository of big databases that have been created by people to look at cancer science data in different aspects. And this will be the place that will direct readers to go to, say, a website, a, a database to be, to be used. And I hope that that's going to be a new resource that's going forward um, for the journal. And that's kind of a, a, a new area. The other area uh, for the future is to try to have a section of the journal that um, embrace the changes in cancer science. So this is a new section that we've created called uh, Controversy and Consensus. It's more of a perspective, opinion, um, sort of challenging the current paradigm kind of idea or questioning what don't we really know at the moment, even though this is the model of what we're, we're studying at the moment. So what we like to do there is to have people really to debate this, these issues. Uh, I think this is the only way we can advance science, which is not to ignore those little annoying things that don't fit into our model at the moment. We just got to embrace them and say, maybe th that's the, the real question we got to ask, right? For example, why, um, and this is a, a more general question, why the 60% of patients who don't respond to immunotherapy, now, and, and rightly so, we should cheer for the 40% or so, or 20 or 30% that do respond. but. I think it's time to sort of, okay, okay let's uh, give ourselves the medal for that, but, but focus on this side. What are the remaining questions? Um, so those, I think that's how we are evolving the journal and make it quite dynamic. Uh, I would say that cancer research itself as a journal, uh, arguably, uh, has been historically the oldest, uh, uh, longest running uh, cancer research journal. It is uh, quite uh, well recognized uh, internationally. And so it has established itself as a foundational journal. And what I mean by that is that not only has Cancer Research published some of the pivotal findings that have created new fields in cancer research, but continue to publish articles that solidifies certain concepts that have been initiated in the field. And that is critically important. <music>